World Viral TV is brought to you as always by Colorado Harvest Company. Welcome to the newest Colorado Harvest Company. <laughs> back here i felt like the uh i felt like our sound bed almost skipped a beat right there i know right kind of threw me off a little yeah. i'm not gonna lie chris is throwing them all at us right he likes to throw the wild card in yeah. now and then the pot all right we're here this is music buzz live my name is moose thank you so much for joining us chad drew chad h c t and we got the lovely kate in the house now what is up kate hello gentlemen how are we doing awesome doing good we are very honored to have you down here. You're looking elegant as hell tonight. Yeah, so. your hair is good work for. That's so crazy that you bring that up. Last time I saw Miss Kate, her her hair was a totally different color. It was blue and it was a mohawk. I'm going the more professional route these days. Yeah, yeah. no, I know how that goes. <laughs> it looks very beautiful on you. I lost Thank the lip you. ring a couple sure. of years ago. You know. Hey, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so Kate's from 5700 Consulting. Which is, uh, how, how you guys have been around, you're about to uh, celebrate your one year anniversary. Yes, but we've been doing the work for about two years, a little bit longer than that. We've been in the industry since 2008, most of the girls that I work with, and myself included. Right. But uh, yeah, 5700 is my baby, came into fruition about a year ago, almost to the day. So that's okay. pretty exciting that we've survived. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, for sure. So give us a little background on, uh, on what you guys do and, and what kind of consulting is going on in the cannabis industry these days definitely so there's a lot of consulting i mean it's one of those ancillary businesses that really i mean it goes from growing to simply selecting your strains to operations what we kind of focus on is the compliance and operations piece of it okay we come from you know the stores the warehouses and just kind of seeing that there was a lot of lack of uh organization <laughs> right and yeah. just a lot of help that was needed they make you jump so th through so many hoops that it has been a crazy industry and there's always changes. I talk about it all the time about how every day in the cannabis industry for six years has been totally different. You know what I mean? And there's always new rules, new things to stay on top of. And it's important to have somebody in your corner to do that. Well, it moves in dog years. So, I mean, it's hard to keep up. Yeah. I mean, one year, seven years, and now all of a sudden you're in a completely new industry. So it's nice to just know that you have someone that's going to say, hey, this changed, whereas you have to seek out the information on your own. So we started things when Metric became implemented, which is a tracking software. They use RFID tracking software. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Everybody hates it. Everybody love it. loves it. What are you talking about? It's never created a headache at all, ever at work. I've never gotten a metric headache. You like, know? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm totally playing, dude. It sucks, dude. It is not fun. You know, anytime there's change and anytime it's done in, on a state level, it's usually something that there's going to be backlash. But unfortunately, it's one of those necessary evils in order to move forward with the industry and just kind of show everybody, hey, this is not a big, scary thing. It's something that we can, in fact... Make sure that isn't making it out to the streets, making it into the children's hands, see how many right. things have decreased yeah. since. So it's one of those things. And I love it. I mean, I used to manage a store. So seeing the levels of organizations that have changed and just the accountability that's now being held between not only the vendors, but the actual storefronts, it's one of those things that I personally love it. So, And I know it goes both ways for people. <laughs> so what? walk us through some of the ways that you keep up on all the latest uh, changes and regulations and stuff because obviously you got to be the one that can answer the phone you got to be like, on top of it more than doing me this, you uh, know? yeah oh yeah definitely i mean it's one of those things that every morning it's you know 4 a.m looking at the state website making sure that nothing's changed we use tools there's this awesome uh site called canaregs.com that's been a huge help it's literally organizes all the industry bulletins, any you know law changes, the almogated versions of the laws um, by city county, because I mean, it's beyond just what the state has regulating. It's also your city and county, which mm -hmm. usually will trump the state. I don't know what other industry usually has that happen, uh, but right. this is, it's pretty unique. So, I mean, we're looking at all of those different factors as well as just kind of keeping, you know, our emails on all the state watch lists. And as the new states come online, it's really nice 
to also make sure that we're keeping up on those. So. Yeah, cool. I think it's a really cool idea because, I mean, being in the industry as long as you have as well, um, I'm sure that you know how you see a lot of different companies. You've seen a lot of different, I mean, basically everybody's taking the cannabis industry and like meshing it with every outside factor of business ever and be like, what do you think about this? What do you think about this, dude? And, but to be able to have someone like an, like an accounting firm almost in a way on rules and regulations, which is being written daily, you know, because we're the ones that are groundbreaking right now. I mean, I know that Definitely. that's a service that is needed to happen. So. Oh, and it's so, I mean, it goes beyond the stores even sometimes. I mean, we're, we're participants in Women Grow. We're sponsors of that organization, which we love Women Grow. Hi, Women Grow. Women, women Who Grow, right? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Dude, I, we, I, got, I got mad love for them. I know that a couple of ladies that are in there, they do some awesome things as well. Yes. So. Oh, definitely. And the women within the organization are just all incredible. I mean, there's people who are infusing the cannabis industry with bridal shows and yes. culinary arts and classes and I mean yeah anything you can think of therapeutics yeah. truly and honestly I mean it's one of those things a puff and paint I was recently directed to because I yes. love to yeah I heard about that <laughs> so puff and paint we actually just started talking I just started talking to as well they want to they want us to come down and check it out but we to be should able to, go do a yeah, film dude, in the, the session that would be so fun I don't so think fun. that's a bad idea at all yeah. call you know? me I mean, I, <laughs> right you should come I, I suppose it was only a matter of time before um that came along. I mean, you know? it, I mean, it's been it's been a trendy hit for the last, you know, five six years with alcohol. So to have it be with cannabis, I think that's a great, a, a great fun hobby to to get out and do. And I'm sure that with with companies like that, you get to make sure. Because, I mean, there's no private places. That's kind of almost a private club. Well, and that's exactly you know? right. And I think that's what a lot of places are kind of pushing for. There's a lot of backlash night down the springs because there's so many clubs that are operating illegally. And, it, yeah. again, it goes into all the same things that apply to the same laws that we're having to deal with, which is, you know, you have to be licensed to sell it. These places are selling it. There's no license. They're not cultivating it. Where is it coming from? Right. If they're just individuals, they can only have so much. So it's posing a lot of questions. And the whole point of 64 was to regulate it like alcohol. So why is yeah. it not being regulated? like alcohol in the sense yeah, that totally. we can be consuming it in public places so it's really kind of pushing the lines but at the same time I mean if they follow the right protocols get the right people all working with the government is is just communication and I think yeah. a lot of people you know misconceive that because they think it's this big scary entity but really it's just people like you and me sometimes you know not as smart or not as fun or <laughs> that's right damn it that's right <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless working you know to make things happen so it's just kind of like the squeaky wheel gets the grease right so we do should you, have you it. had any sh kind of shaky situations where you have somebody that's looking for um, guidance on something that they shouldn't be doing, oh. and you have to be like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can really." That never happens, that. Tim. I'm sure that never yeah. happens. No. <laughs> you know what? You'd be surprised what people come up with. They're just like, "Okay, so I want to do this, but I know I can't do this. So how do I do this?" Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, <laughs> did you hear what you just said? Because you just basically told me you can't do this. So. Don't do it. <laughs> right. You're asking for you to not only lose your job, but for me to lose my job if I come yeah. along well, with yeah. you on this venture. It, you know what? It's funny. The consulting piece is a really weird like medium. You're kind of in limbo because you're on the side of the dispensaries, but you're also on the side of the state because yeah. you want the right. dispensaries to do what the state are saying, but you also want the state to do what dispensaries need for right. them to be you know, reasonable because mm -hmm. a lot of the times it's, there's not a lot of reason. And unfortunately, because you have old law enforcement officers, people who have been drilled in their minds, this is a bad thing, right. now saying, okay, now we have to regulate it. So it's yeah. almost like a dual-edged sword. It's so, <laughs> it's so exciting to be at the nucleus of it all, though, and watch, um, you know, I talk with often, often with guests about how, you know, from out-of-state places that come in, some of the bands and stuff, and it's so taboo still in their culture, and our culture has totally moved on from that. You know what I mean? Oh, most definitely. I couldn't agree more. It's I, When I travel to different states, it's almost like being in a foreign country because yeah. you, you feel scared that if you know if you had something, like I personally left you know, a vape pen in my purse. So here I am in a new state and I have a vape pen and I'm hitting it like it's nothing. <laughs> and my cousin's going, stop it. You can't do that. Like, what if they see you? What if they smell it? And I'm just thinking, what if they do it? This is my body. I should be yeah. able to do what I want with it, where I want with it. And it's normal yeah. where I'm at. So. It's so crazy. <laughs> Dude, I, and I, that's the funny thing I talk often about how the only real trip out of state because I've been kind of nose to the grindstone for a while is when I went to California for a bit which wasn't that big of a deal but I'm about to go down to Mexico 
You know what I mean? I can That's, remember. I'm kind of like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? You know what I mean? Because, you know, and I'm in the industry. It's going to be so crazy. I can, you can't really even walk around with bloodshot eyes in some places, Yeah, you're dude. probably the enemy down there yeah. because uh, you're taking all the money away from the cartels. <laughs> yeah, it's the cartels going to have That's me. That's how you get kidnapped. Yeah. Stay in the touristy areas. You guys going to be freaked out now. <laughs> This damn sativa's got me paranoid no, now. No, I'm just teasing. They, it, it's one of those things. Mexico, I actually used to live in Mexico, so and was there recently. And honestly, as long as you're just not like, you know, chiefing down the right. street, yeah. I'm sure, and bloodshot eyes, you should be fine. The moral but is don't be a dumbass. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I tell everybody at the shop that comes in. You might not even yeah. want to do it. The weed down there is dirt, yeah, man. Yeah, for sure. It's bricky. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Which brick is weed weird. is not good for you. That's just the straight headache. The climate's so beautiful, yeah. though. I'd, you'd think that someone would get it right, just plant it like on a mountaintop and let it thrive. <laughs> it's called weed for a reason. Right. <laughs> so so do you think that 5700 Consulting is going to be running into any problems similar to some of the labs that are kind of, they're trying to use, the, some of the labs have, are trying to use all the technology they can to make sure that things don't have pesticides on it, and they're getting a lot of backlash. Um, do you guys th do you think that there's going to be other parts in the industry that are going to get that backlash like that? Or no? I think the compliance piece has a little bit of backlash. We face it on a daily basis. We tell someone you need to add three cameras. Usually that's like a twelve hundred dollar change right. that we're coming to them, and we're you know just entities trying to help them out, saying hey, here's the perspective. We're looking but it's at a it. necessity, so and yeah. it is. I mean, if you want to keep your doors open, unfortunately, you have to follow these laws, regardless of how silly. Or make enough stink and make yourself present, and uh, you know, city county meetings, state meetings, all of that to make the laws change. Because otherwise, you're just putting yourself in danger by not doing it. So, I mean, yeah, I think that there's a lot of places, and even just private events, people are not wanting to participate just because if their name's on it, they're now affiliated with potentially smoking in a public place or. Right. Just several things. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, I definitely agree that there's a lot of areas within the industry that, you know, are necessary evils, yeah. but are subject to change as time goes along. Yeah. But I mean, 5700, because of its uniqueness and just kind of operating more on an operational basis and, you know, through the metric, we're here to help more so than we are to harm. Right. And I think the metric piece, I mean, that's 90% of our business. Yeah, so, yeah, right. Dude, you can't do shit without metric, dude. And it's true. It's your check into the state, dude. It's to make sure the state is like, yeah, dude, you're good. Okay. It's the most important piece. If you focus on that and you have a good job, and I mean, once you really get it, it becomes easy. It's kind of like that light bulb goes on and you're like, stupid me. How did I not get this? <laughs> but I mean, I got there through making every mistake. When metric was first implemented, I was in a store. I put my plant tags in every single plant before mm. I sat down to the computer, only to find out you have to then do it the other yeah. way around. Mm. So, <laughs> I mean, it's through trial and tribulations through this whole industry, but that's what's so beautiful. It's not only are we making history, but realistically, we're paving the way and we're making the laws. It just depends on how much we actually want to participate. Yeah. So We're making it right. We're making it the right way, like I say all the time, for a, a blueprint for other societies to do it because we're definitely laying the law right, I think. Oh, right. I wholeheartedly agree. Always over-regulate so that you can take them away and people become relieved. You can't, once you give somebody something, take it away. It's a lot right. harder. Right. I mean, that's just a basic business principle. So I think that the state's doing the right thing by just over-regulating, making everyone feel real safe and secure, especially, I mean, there's reefer madness. There's so yeah. many different things. That, a lot to overcome. Yes. Uh, oh, and all the stigmas. But, I mean, I think after it gets descheduled, which it will get descheduled and not rescheduled, um. <laughs> Next president's halfway through the second term. Yes. That's projected. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. Unless okay. it's Trump, because he's totally against it. Fuck yeah. It. Well, I think if anything changes as far as like negatively within the industry, somebody stopping it or putting a hold on it or rescheduling it, putting it in the hands of the pharmaceuticals, I think that there's enough people who have enough vested interests, not yeah. only financially, but emotionally. And I mean, think about how many people it's helped on a health level, yeah. on a financial level, how many jobs Nation, it's yeah. created. Nationwide, yeah. even. People will fight back. So, oh, yeah. I'll start the revolt. Yeah. <laughs> I'll Let's be in the middle it. of this year. Uh, yeah. 5,700 <laughs> consulting and Music Buzz Live. We're going to go march. La Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Where can we learn more about 5700 Consulting? So 5700C.com. We are also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, kind of been slacking on the Instagram, so maybe not so much there. But try to keep a lot of good information for you guys right on our Facebook. So any keep you updated on what's going on with the different states, what's going on with us. Um, you can also email us at 5700Consulting.com or at gmail.com. Getting ahead of myself. Uh, uh, <laughs> quick question. 5700 instead of 5280. What is it? What's the 5700? 5700 is 5280 plus 420. Ah! Oh, um, wow. 
you know, nerd. Yeah, I'm that, a numbers that's, person. That's so awesome, so. dude. I was, I was about to give you shit because that's like asking the bands how they got their name. <laughs> oh. Good way to go. Well, well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kate, for joining us thank tonight. You guys. It was a pleasure appreciate having you on. This has you, been Kate. Pot Talk tonight. Stick thank around for Bears with Eagle Arms. This is Music Buzz Live. Yay. As the world spins